Hi, Pat. Thanks so much for coming on to the show tonight. Oh, thanks, Tom. Um, so I just want to let you know who we've got on the show with you. We've got uh, X Factor star Kitty Brooknell. Oh, I liked her. She's the blonde one, yeah? Yeah. Really that's good. It. Loving her. Okay. Okay, yeah. there's more. Go on. Get this. Go on. Okay. Finally, coming together. Yeah. This is big for me. Two kids TV legends on the show tonight. So another kids TV presenter. Seriously, here. Oh, brilliant. Well, as long as it's anybody but that horrible Dave Benson Phillips, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Our guests together, they sound like a firm of dodgy solicitors. To us, though, they are the greatest lineup ever. It's Brucknell, Benson Phillips, and Sharp. <laughs> We'd love to sit here and talk about the two legendary TV presenters that are in the show in the studio this night. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Joel, he gets so yes! loud. <laughs> talk about tonight's yes. show. Uh, it's been a lonely night for Caroline, hasn't it, in that yeah. room all on her own? Uh, so were the scientists right to pick Caroline for that task? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Very quick yes she's, from you. She's peeing me off. <laughs> I can't stand her. She needs You've to be gotten out. you a few letters off the end of that word. <laughs> I know. I You're thought, being good tonight. I thought I'd be a bit polite tonight. She bit warned polite. me before we came out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> listen to mother, always listen to mother. Uh, Kitty, we heard some pretty inspirational phrases uh, from Big Brother tonight. What is your mantra? Uh, stay fearless. Oh, you kind of want to do that with it, don't you? Stay fearless. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Benedict, Luke and Lydia put Caroline through a night of confidence building. Shall we see what happened in the morning? Yes. yes. Let's have a look. This is so horrible. I feel so victimised and alone. You can do anything no, that I you can't. put your little rat mind to. There's not a mousetrap in the world that could keep you down. Oh. Confident rats. I'm not. You are a really big sheep. Go away. <laughs> you can do anything that you put your little rat mind to. I hate really? things like that so really? much. It was the worst thing ever. Oh. I didn't have it. After the worst night of my life, Ooh. I have to do that. <laughs> So, Dave, how would you uh, get your own back on the scientists? Well, after that, well, b believe it or not, yeah, I've got a huge gunge tank at home. That would not be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just invite them around and say, yeah, come round, you know, have a spot of lunch. Oh, by the way, just have a nice shower before you come in. Then, you know, just let loose the juice. That's what I would do. Do you really have a gunge tank at home? I just realised what I've just said. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Now, look, I, I do a lot of work with children, and it's one of those. <laughs> no, that was in all seriousness. So I, I just apologise now if I say anything that seems a bit untoward. It's just because I'm very nervous. This is the first time in 30 years I've ever been in the studio, and there's not been a child in sight. So it's a bit freaky. So. <laughs> 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 
much for coming. Um, Pat, Lauren uh, had a bit of a chat tonight in the diary room about food. Um, in reality shows, we know that you have been in the jungle. Why is food such a focal point? Because you need it to survive, and I didn't get any in the jungle. There was no food, so she really does need it. You need it to uh, feed your brain as well, stimulate yourself. Do you think that is helping her as well? kind of feel normal I suppose because she's going through so many emotions with what she thinks people think of her and is it like that one staple and stability that is constant absolutely yeah we're all gonna have food I mean look at Dave he had a big snack before the show and that's why he's losing the juice and all that <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like some exclusive footage because yes. yes. you're quite close to them as well so. to who like everybody not really. Nobody holds any loyalty to me. Nobody, I don't hold too much loyalty to them. Obviously. Because I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll be in line soon after. Yeah. After. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, no, I wasn't, like, really, I would like for it to get split up. Yeah. I would. Dean is up for it. Lydia's yeah. up for it. Benedict of is up for it. I'm up for it. If you're up for it, that's five. Yeah. We're going to start seven. Hmm? We're going to start seven. Mm. But Ooh. we're not sure about telling Lauren because she, she's like, a bit like me. So. Yeah. in those situations oh they're so important Emma I mean when we were you know in Australia and stuff in the jungle it's like if you don't get with the right people then you really have got a problem so you need to feel like you belong yeah um, Kitty how do you think you would get on in the house there are obviously so many different personalities in there so do you think that would you be able to settle in there do you think or would you would you find it quite difficult um, I'm actually at home I'm quite boring I like to watch sci-fi TV and read books so I think the problem is is there's none of that and I think my mind would start running away with me. I think I'd probably be the worst housemate ever, which is... What kind of housemate idea. would you make? <laughs> Sorry? What kind of housemate would you make? Um, I'd probably go a bit nuts and escape. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother Bookers, talk to her. That's what we want in the house. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. um, so we've just seen Adam and uh, Luke A kind of come up with this little rogue team. Do we want to see them acting like this? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes they need to do something. It's about time. Adam's, uh, not Adam. Luke, Luke has been hey. boring my pants off. He's done nothing. <laughs> Apart from the whole, oh, did you know I was born a woman? Apart from that, he's done nothing. So, yeah, I Is like this. Is it not just um, a case of him coming into his own in time? There are such big characters in there. Mm. Once they all start to go, which we know they probably will because that's the way it always goes. Let's hope not. But Let's no, hope no, not I, indeed. I think that as long as they leave Lydia out of it, then they should have a good little collection of people, like, with the whole plotting and forming so and stuff. So Lydia might ruin their Yeah, group. she's an entity on herself, do you know what I mean? She's, like, the, the, the <laughs> demon of the house, do you know what I mean? I love her, though, great housemate, but she she's is very good. evil. She's quiet, though. Pardon? If you're too quiet, then eventually they notice and they, they will start to think that you're trying to yeah. play a game in that way. But I think he's started to play the game now. What do you think, Dave? Well, uh, as somebody who watches uh, Big Brother sort of via my wife and uh, her friends, by the way, I've got to say, hello, Benji, go to bed. Um, Isn't uh, that what all males say, really? No, 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 my son, my son. I know, it's a son. joke. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I really am that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Pat, shut up, everybody. OK. Um, well, it seems as though the, the whole thing has come about, hasn't it, since they've taken up the ruling about the fact that you could openly now discuss your sort of voting mm, tactics yeah. and things. Yeah. Because in the past, if I'm right, they didn't used to do that sort of no, thing. No. And they used to get punished a lot yeah, for it. Yeah, this is the first so, year that they've had it from the beginning. So they it, have it, had it for it's all start, periods, It's all started but... really early. I mean, you two have been in an environment, haven't you, where, you know, you, you, you're, you're competing against other people. Mm. So you kind of know what that's like. I, as, a, as an observer, just look and think, ooh, that started a bit early, because that normally happens way down the line. Do you think so, it's too early? Um... Well, from, 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 uh, do you know what? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's early, <laughs> but do you know what? It's good viewing, because it's interesting to see how people's mind works and, and, and people's, how they 
you know, ally themselves with yeah. other people within the house. I mean, ultimately, there's going to be one winner. So the alliances are going to have to change at some point. That's going to be the really interesting bit as far as I'm concerned. And apparently he only watches it through his wife and kids. That was a pretty full-on <laughs> explanation of you as me. Yeah. Uh, so we've, yeah. heard <laughs> we've heard from the living legends in the studio, but we also want to hear from you guys. Tweet us or get in touch via the website. Uh, and you can also take part in tonight's poll that we're running. Should housemates be allowed to discuss nominations? Uh, let us know what you think details should be on your screen now. Still to come, Brian Bello talks strategies and the housemates will be on the sharp end of Pat. Ooh. But like Lydia's eyes, this week's eviction is wide open and really scary. Here's how you can save your faves. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Bit on the Side, or as they say in Poland and the Ukraine, Welcome back to Bet on the Side. This next clip is almost as exclusive, thank you, as Lydia and Andy Scott Lee, but not quite. Check it. For this week's shopping task, Big Brother opened a new scientific research division. To pass this week's shopping task, the majority of the scientists' hypotheses had to be proven correct. Majority. Out of eight experiments, a total of Six of the scientists' hypotheses were correct. Housemates have therefore passed this week's shopping task and won a premium shopping budget of £840. OK, we were told that, that we, we were going to test your intelligence and we had to pretend... No, no, don't tell them what we said. Go on, go on. Far below average. Whether your intelligence is far below average, below average, 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 average above average, you or far above... You picked below average, we you picked, horrible we, people. We picked we did. So, the housemates passed six out of eight tasks, which means they won the full £840. That's insanely high. Uh, but well done to the housemates, anyway. Now, game playing in the house is at an all-time high. We've got more bitches on our hands than cruffs. Luckily for us, someone who won the whole bloody thing is here to explain what on earth they're all up to. It's Brian Bello. Hello, Lindsay. All right, Brian. Wow. Mwah. Uh, so, how do you think discussing noms has changed everyone's strategies? Well, they're just absolutely loving it at the moment, aren't they? Because yeah. they think they can manipulate their way to the final week. But do you know what? It's really weird because it's changed the show. And it really has. And as a big brother and purist... Well, I was going to say, yeah. for the better for you or not? Do you know what? If you asked me this about six, seven years ago, I'd say it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. However, uh, now, Big Brother's changing. It's evolving as a show. The reality TV market is very crowded at the moment. So yeah. it's got to change in some way. So I'm yeah. liking it. Because it's interesting now. They're interesting people, and we're seeing their real characteristics because they're allowed to talk about nominations. But what happens, say, a month down the line? Do you, know, you know, are we still going to be talking about the same thing then? Do you know what? I've been watching the Big Brother, the American Big Brother, <laughs> and I've been watching <laughs> Survivor. <laughs> I've watched it. No, 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 I love reality TV, so I know everything I know. about it. I know, I know about the market of it. And do you know what? And in the American <laughs> Big Brother and in Survivor, where they're allowed to talk about nominations and votes, they literally, by a month later, they go absolutely wild. Really? And they're literally like ripping each other's heads off, Nadia style, to be fair. So, so who's got the most competitive strategy, you think? <sighs> The most competitive. Do we need to ask, really? I mean, come on, the future Miss Scott Lee. Come on. Here. Oh Where do you want to put her? We just put her a slap bang in the middle. Because she's just in, in the, the middle, middle of all the controversy that goes on in that house. OK, shall we have a look at um, Lydia in full strategy mode? Yes, come let's, on, let's, let's. My second nomination is for Dina. I just find her very negative and I feel like I'm being taken along in the negativity and it's clouding my experience here, and I don't want to be tarnished with the same brush. But the boy is, they're still trying to... I don't know, do you think they're blatantly saying to each other, we're going to do this, we're going to do this? I don't think this. yet, I don't think not yet. yet. Not so yet. next week we might have a chance yeah. to get them before they get us. They're not doing it yet because they don't want to look bad on the camera. So next week we can smack it. I did not sign up for this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoy it, Lauren. And it's... Neither did I. I didn't come in here to think, oh, I'm going to have to constantly watch my pattern, but mm. unfortunately... You better watch it, you better watch it. Um, so, Brian, before Lydia uh, went mm. into the house, she said that she wouldn't be two-faced, although part of her plan would be to nominate a friend. So what do you make of that little plan? 
I don't think that's just her plan for in there. I reckon that's her plan in life in general. <laughs> because in general, I can imagine she's at home on Facebook writing to other mates saying, yeah, she called you a bitch, yeah, she done stuff with your boyfriend, I know about it. You know she's a blatant keyboard warrior on direct messaging <laughs> on Twitter and Facebook. How risky of a game is that, though? Is she going to get found out or, or will she... But you know what? I think because of how much of a hate figure she's making herself, it's going to do them the world of good to keep her in there as long as possible. Because as long as you've got a leader in the game, you know if you put yourself up against her in a month's time, she's going out because the public are going to hate her. She's good, though. See, you know, I wanted to stay to the end, personally, because I think she's given us the narrative of the show. Yeah, she we is. need a Lydia. Yeah. Like, not being rude. It's one of them things where she's lying here, she's lying there, she's lying bloody everywhere. I mean, she's, she's a bloody Jack and Norris, Stella. <laughs> she, she, she tells more bloody Jack and Norris stories than bloody Rainbow Zippy, George and Bungle. 